Well, let's now switch our focus to another economic boosting and job creating endeavor. Earlier in October, Google hosted its inaugural Google for Africa event where senior executives announced new commitments in Africa and Nigeria, including a pledge of $1 billion over five years to fund a variety of projects ranging from improved connectivity to investment in startups to help boost Africa's digital transformation. Well, now joining us is Olumide Balogun, Google's B2C marketing manager in sub-Saharan Africa. And he's also joining us via Zoom from Lagos to look at the specifics of these um, announcements. Um, Olumide, it's a pleasure to have you on the program today. Thanks for having me, Victor. Of course. So, so let's uh, start with specific uh, terms of how these investments will benefit people and businesses in Nigeria. Um, so at Google, we, we, we really think about um, our mission when we approach investments such as this one. Um, our mission to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful has, has never been more relevant. Uh, and, and what we plan to do with this investment essentially is to look at four key areas that could make a meaningful impact here in Nigeria as well as across the continent. So first is really around how we drive affordable access. Um, with our Equiano on the sea transatlantic cable, um, as well as um, partnerships with uh, OEMs and telcos as well to drive affordable devices um, into the hands of people. Um, the second is really our investments around small businesses and startups. Um, we're investing into a, a lot of work streams there, essentially to help startups scale, um, you know, affording them access to Google products, um, to Google network, as well as technologies um, to help really take their businesses essentially to the next level. Um, we're doing a lot of work as well in terms of how we build more helpful products, whether it is with us driving um, local Nigerian voices on maps or um, us building features on YouTube to help local creators essentially take the, cre the creativity that we see here um, in Nigeria and in Africa to the world. Um, you know, we see that this area is, is important as well for us to invest in. And finally, it's really around how we help um, for nonprofits that are in the ground, in their communities, essentially solve for local problems that are um, that they see in their communities. So it's really around essentially number one access and how we drive affordability. Number two, how we help startups and small businesses, um, how we build helpful products is the third, and, and really finally how we help for nonprofits essentially to scale in their communities. All right. So um, and you, it's good you make mention of the um, the equino uh, sub sub cables, you know, coming from you know the sea and, and all of the subsea cables now. Um, but, you know, even before now, you know, there was the Google station, which, you know, um, was launched sometime in 2018. But, you know, aside all of that, we also understand, you know, there is this non-interest loan to the tune of about $10 million, which would be, you know, made available to small businesses. Now, what are the criteria for accessing these loans and how can small businesses, you know, access uh, uh, the loans, of course, that's if they are eligible, when the loans are available, if they aren't yet? Um, we want to we want to continue to play a helpful role with helping small businesses. Small businesses are the lifeblood of any economy. Um, whether it's a you know a gentleman that's selling um, you know model spare parts in in Alaba market, or um, you know a, a woman that's uh, you know on the on the streets trying to make a, a living. Uh, what we want to do essentially with the small business loan is partner with uh, you know local players on the ground that are in the business essentially of disposing um, such loans. So we have um, selected a local partner here on the ground, Kiva. Uh, and we will be working with them over the coming weeks, essentially, um, to disperse and as well as to share a little bit more information on how businesses can partner or, or, or how businesses can essentially access these loans. All right, what about the, uh, what's it called, the investment, this, this time around, like the African Investment uh, Fund uh, for Black-led startups? Yeah, what, what's that all about and how can that also, you know, be beneficial to startups in Nigeria? Over the last over the last few years, we have done um, you know quite a bit of work working with startups here in, in Nigeria and across the continent. Um, AAE startups, as an example, have gone through our Google Accelerator program. We're currently in class six um, of that or the six iteration of that. Um, and it's interesting, you know, to note that you know some of the startups that have gone through this program are now um, unicorn startups, as an example. You know, Flutter Wave. Um, you know, went through that program. What we want to do with the Africa Investment Fund, um, you know, investing into the future essentially, is a $50 million fund that helps, um, you know, Series A and beyond companies uh, essentially scale. So we're really looking to uh, companies that have, uh, you know, similar strategic intents uh, as with Google, uh, and we're looking to essentially help those companies as well um, with funding as well as Google technologies 
and to help them scale their businesses here on the ground. Um, in terms of how uh, you know companies can access that fund, we have a, a team here at Google that's really working and staying very close to the ground, um, looking at uh, you know startups that are solving for um, really key problems uh, you know in their communities, and we will be reaching out to them uh, to to have uh, engagements on how we can we can support. All right, Olumide, just hold your thoughts for a second. We're going to take, we'll take a quick break. And, of course, when we return, we'll get more on, you know, those announcements that were made um, earlier this year. Please stay with us. Well, thank you for staying with us. We'll still have with us Olumide um, Balogun. He is the Google B2C marketing manager in sub-Saharan Africa. He joins us via Zoom from Lagos. So, Lumide, um, again, let me just quickly come back to you to look at the, um, the impacts that all of the interventions Google has been making, because this is not the first time. I mean, over the years, Google has made announcements, which, of course, I've, they've been following. But is there, is, there, is there a mechanism to measure the impact of all of this in Nigeria, especially? Quickly. Uh, impact is really at the center um, of this investment. When we think about, about how we make this investment into the continent, uh, and Nigeria by extending impact, whether it's from when we talked about, like when I talked about Equiano and, and, and uh, the investment that we're making in the, on the sea cable there, um, you know, we have done some in house research and we're seeing that we could have an impact in terms of just in, increasing the speed of internet connectivity by five folds over the next five years. Um, we also see that there could be an impact in terms of just um, how we continue to make the internet more affordable, so up to 21% reduction in the price of internet. Um, we do see that there will be um, an impact on indirect jobs created as well, up to 1.6 million indirect jobs. Um, what we have seen in the past is really on, on the impact side is a lot of work we've done on the digital skilling um, side. But we, so when we talk about how businesses and people here on the continent continue to digitize, um, we continue to drive digital skills, um, you know, training. So far, we have trained 5 million people. Um, um, here on the continent, 3.4 million in Nigeria to be more specific. And, and so this is just to mention a few of the, um, of the impact numbers that we've seen, uh, you know, from some of the investments that we've made in the past, but also quite excited about, you know, the impact that we hope to achieve with the future investments as well. Well, we'll be looking forward to that. And of course, hopefully it will impact uh, those who actually need the intervention. Um, when that time comes. But I have to say thank you for joining us today on the program, Alumide Ibalogun, Google's B2C manager, you know, in sub-Saharan Africa. Thanks once again for joining us today on the program. Thank you so much for having me. Indeed, you're welcome.